master, master, master! You have come home to your royal dwelling. <laughs> but why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Orin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty and slipped you inside anyway. Ah, the temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you bludgeon your sister to death. I've restacked every pile of skulls and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy touch. I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. We are unfortunate bunkmates, as she refuses to leave your estate. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return. Up to thrice, some days. Being killed by you is so much more pleasurable, Master. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. Please, go in, my liege. And take care to watch your step. They say you will fight her. Lady Orin. Will, will you shatter her skull? Break her bones? Silence is precious to die for, and Lady Orin is already too loud, always talking. She speaks of you, of a duel. Are you going to choke her prattle away? Make her quiet for us? Yes, quiet. I hear you are to duel Lady Orin. If it pleases you, child of murder, I would have her carcass once you're finished. Oh, I don't. I ask the same favor of Lady Orin. Either of your pelts would make a most exquisite trophy. I'm sure you understand. The stone trembles at your presence. Baal is watching. So is Orin. We are waiting. You have returned. Do you remember? You were the one who first fed me flesh. But Lady Orin does not let us feed as you did. Please, kill her. Let us... Sate ourselves. The prodigal child returns to jewel Lady Orin, no less. I normally abhor theatrics, but that'll be quite the spectacle. I hear you have returned to do battle with Lady Orin. 
to tear each other's flesh from bone in his name. Reverence. It is a pity you are already marked for Orin's blade. I would have relished pitting you against my own. I will settle, however, for seeing the two of you clash. I imagine it will be... instructive. Borrowed scrolls must be returned within a ten day. It seems the Temple to Murder has a lending library. Look, your savior approaches. <laughs> See how it crawls towards us? Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Carrying the tyrant's rock. Crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. Pluck me bone from socket. Stroke me with a jagged edge until my skin shreds wet and red. You still don't remember, do you, bloodkin? <laughs> How you screamed as my knife slit your skull. Your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet. Strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. This is the truth you had forgotten. You were the favorite, the chosen. Orin was your subordinate. You led the cultists of Baal and orchestrated the absolute plot. It was your genius, your cruelty, your design. At your moment of greatest triumph, when all the pieces were in place, she betrayed you, infected you, and took your place. Husk, maggot, a ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the murder lord's blessing. My grandfather ruled this city, a slaughterhouse ripened for my blades, and you stole it! Enough! 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 The runt must be cold. Come close, my death's heads, but keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a Jew. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. You should have trained harder, Master.
Master, you are the chosen one. <gasps> he is near. He comes for you. <laughs> from your god, your father, an offering of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. The Slayer form will be yours, made crueler, stronger, the prime incarnation of murder. It seems impossible to stand against your father. You have fought this long against your nature. There might just be a way. Domination. Slaughter. Mountains of corpses. You standing atop them. You must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept. To become his prophet. In any disobedience subject to his lash. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, 
and doomed to wander the Fugue Plain for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I... A scribe, a seneschal, a keeper of records, and now thine advocate, both here and in the city of the dead. The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn has come. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. I'd be worm food if it wasn't for you. Thank you. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine earth. I know all, but to state truths is to interfere, for the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place, for the most part, is to observe. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit, but thou art extraordinary. And so are these times. Today thou art born anew. Happy birthday, soldier. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. Now you may yet rule, and rule unhindered, rid of your domineering father. For now they believe you sweet and innocent, having triumphed against such evil. If you plan to command the world, no one will suspect a thing until it is too late. They should all be running. His bubbling hate still fills my nostrils. Not even your treason could dampen this joy, betrayer. Orin taught us some very specific cruelties. 
Were you not Baal Spawn? I would inflict them upon you, traitor. Did you not feel his presence? You cannot shirk the weight of your lineage, Baal Spawn. Not really. It's far too heavy. To challenge Lady Orin was bold. To slay her even bolder. It is a shame you bulked in the face of godhood. The blood on his profane hands. It could have been yours too. You could have been chosen. You rejected your own blood. Your unholy provenance. You are no child of Baal. Spawn of Baal. You would have brought this city to its knees. You have squandered your unholy right. I... I live once more. The Dreadlord's plaything no longer. To camp. I will not let my guard slip again. I swear by Mother Gith's Sion. Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprison the brain. With the stones in hand and the Chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. The same way one gets to the bounds of anything, the sewers. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain and we will end this in death. Thrall them, or freedom, but a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. Savior! 
Edith's head does not speak, only stares. Her eyes are not only filled with zealous awe, but also pure hatred. Thank you. 